Hello, hello. I am back to help you do this thing called life. So you know I've been praying for you, right? And I hope that you've been praying for me. Um, I just want to share something with you today. Um, when I prayed and asked the Lord what he wanted me to share, he told me. He told me. He made it clear. And so I just want to talk to you a minute about that woman who had the issue of blood. And um, if you recall, and maybe you don't know the story, it's in Mark five and the story begins at the account begins at verse 24 or 25 and um there was a woman who had had an issue of blood she'd been bleeding for 12 years and in the account it says that she went out into the crowd to touch Jesus um because it said that she had said within herself if i can just touch his cloak I know I'll be made whole. And she left that house and she went and touched Jesus. And immediately she knew that she had been made whole. She felt it in her body. And so um, when I saw this woman in the crowd, because when I asked the Lord what he wanted me to talk to you about, I actually saw the scene of her in the crowd, right? And I was like, and I knew it was her. I can't tell you how I knew it was her, but I knew it was her. And I had to, I questioned him a couple of times, like, what am I supposed to say? What, what do you want me to talk about? What you want me to tell your people? And this is what he said. He said, leave the house. I said, huh, leave the house. She only got her healing because she left the house. Jesus was not coming to her house to heal her. He was on his way somewhere else. But that particular day, she decided that enough was enough. She decided that that house that had been her safe place, her comfortable place, the place that she was used to, she decided she had to leave. And God is saying that it's time for you to make a decision. It's time for you to leave. And for some of you, it may be a physical home that you or house that you have to leave. And for others, it may be a situation. It may be a mindset. But the Lord said it's time to leave the house because that place that was once your place of comfort has become a holding cell. It's become a jail to you. And it's no longer serving you. It is zapping you. And if you're going to get what it is that you say you want, you got to leave. Um, I heard get out of that place, that safe place, because that safe place, that comfortable place has become your holding cell. It's keeping you away from the place of your breakthrough. And then we read nothing about God telling the woman that she could be healed. But we do see where she told herself that she could be healed. That all she had to do was touch his garment. She had to leave the place that she'd been confined to for 12 years in order to get what it was she said she wanted. So what issue is it that is holding you and keeping you? from going forward? What is it that has told you that this is the way it will always be? What is it that has you confined and afraid to leave that place? Because I'm here to tell you that what you need is not coming inside. You have to leave. I know with Jesus, he was one man and now he wasn't going to her house. We do have the Holy Spirit, and he is everywhere. But there is also a thing where he has a place destined for you to go, a plan, a planned place of your breakthrough. And if you don't leave where you are, you won't get what you say you want. So you got to realize that staying where you are is no longer an option. When will you get tired enough to take the risk? Because that woman was taking a risk, but she had figured out that enough was enough 
and she had to get out of there. How long are you going to stay there? How long are you going to let that situation, that person, yourself, the mindset, how long are you going to let them tell you that you can't have better, that you don't deserve better? No, it's time. It's high time for you to move. Because as much as God wants you healed, he's requiring you to come out. As much as he wants you delivered, he's requiring you to come out. As much as he wants to give you the breakthrough that you're praying for, he's requiring you to come out. He says, leave that house. Leave that thing that you hold dear. Step out into what you think is the unknown. So that he can show you something better. That place that you think is the unknown is actually called better. Leave where you are and go to the place that you feel that's beckoning for you. Well, y'all, look, if I haven't convinced you, but you know I'm talking to you, reach out to me. We can talk. I'll, I'll message you. We can talk, whatever, but I need you to come out. I need you to come out, come out of hiding, come out of hiding. God wants to do something for you, with you, to you, through you, wants to do something for you. So come on out and let's see what it's like. This has been One More Minute with Marcy. I'll be back tomorrow with another moment of momentum producing motivation. Until then, stay encouraged. And remember, you got to flutter before you can fly. But flying is in your future. I love y'all.